Today we need to get into Suga's promotion being stopped. We also have Jenny from Blackpink at a baby store and what kind of rumors have emerged from this. And then we have some texts that have come out and what this is all about. Say dumb things to save, decide hate it or not. Make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Make sure you join us fangirling on Patreon and let's go. So if you are unaware, there has been some protests going on. I think it's a little bit insane. And of course, we have to talk about it. Right now, there's a protest truck right outside of JYP, and they're urging one of the members to leave Stray Kids, specifically Hyunjin. People are absolutely crazy because to protest and attack someone so much to specifically protest one member leaving a band is so messed up, and I can't even imagine how he must feel, kind of knowing that there's so many people that want him to leave his friends behind and to leave his career. So what happened and what is going on? Well, Hyunjin initially already had a lot of controversy, so people were very upset because the controversy was making the group look bad, allegedly. So what was the controversy and what were people upset about? Apparently not too long ago, there was a school bullying controversy that he was involved in. When I first heard about this controversy, I was thinking that it was fake and it was another Garm situation where someone was making up things about Hyunjin being a bully and it just wasn't true. However, I was very shocked to hear that he ended up actually writing a letter to apologize to every single person that he hurt and then went ahead and actually met with each of those people individually to apologize and talk to them. Now, bullying is one of those scandals that I actually agree with. If it's really right, I agree that someone should be held accountable for hurting people. There really is no excuse for bullying. I think every single one of us, even if we were popular in school, have had some sort of bullying at one point, and it has affected us maybe to even our modern day into adulthood. There's no excuse for this, but of course there are people who are younger and may not fully understand the repercussions of their actions, and not fully understanding that what they say and what they did as a kid was going to impact those victims in such a terrible way in their future. Now, the important thing to take away from this is that he apologized and made amends with the people that he hurt. I think this caused a lot of people who were big fans of him to feel sort of betrayed that the person that they liked and looked up to was this person that had at one point bullied someone. But again, they were very young and we also have no idea whether this scandal was just blown out of proportion and the only way to make it right was for him to apologize and that the issue wasn't actually real. So that is something to keep in mind too, is that a lot of the stuff that we're reading online and a lot of the things that celebrities or labels may have their idols do aren't always the truth. As long as the end goal is that people stop talking about it, then it doesn't really matter what the idols end up doing or even saying. Hyunjin's apology seemed really heartfelt, and he felt touched upon the things that people were most concerned about. The fact that bullying can leave an everlasting scar on people, and we also know that now that he probably knows what that feels like because he's being bullied now. Another controversy which was a little bit interesting was that apparently he had Karina from Espa's picture on his phone background. This just sparked a lot of controversy over a dating thing, and I'm sure it sort of put a lot of hate in Karina's direction. But there was a much bigger scandal than all of this, which was a hookup rumor that came out with Han Seo Hee. Not to get into the nitty gritty details, but basically there were some text messages that came out and it was believed that Hang Seo Hee was talking about Hyun Jin and how they both hooked up or even had a one night stand together. Now this is the type of stuff that I don't understand because if they're not allowed to date, then they're probably going to hook up and do that stuff. Now again, this was a rumor and it's not true, but if they're not allowed to date, then why can't they hook up? Now, don't get me wrong, I would totally understand a controversy arising if the controversy was around idols dating or sleeping with, the, with other people and they're not working. And ideally, they're supposed to be working 24 seven. Like if that was the controversy, then I understand. But the controversy is more so like, oh, they're dating other people and not me. So that's why I hate them. But apparently they both denied the texting stuff and leak and actually the original person who created the text came out and said that they were fake. Now, people are so quick to believe everything. Obviously, when you see screenshots of text messages, since you don't know the idol's phone number and you don't know their information, it's very easy for a random person to kind of say that this is so-and-so's number and so-and-so's account, and I was talking with them. My issue is how does it become a thing where everyone just automatically believes? Like, can I literally just say anything? And most people would just be like, yeah, I believe it's true. And the same way a lot of misinformation about Israel 
material and that sort of stuff has been spreading like wildfire and people have been protesting things that they don't understand. And it's interesting, and I've mentioned this many times before, if you go to the accounts of people who are angry about this, they've never spoken about Israel, nor have they ever commented or liked or reposted anything about the situation that's coming from over there. These people are not watching or reading what's going on in the news over there. They just don't like the fact that something bad happening in the mainstream is involved in their precious K-pop world. Like it breaks their bubble, it shatters their fantasy to see something that they hold so dear be involved in something that is happening all around the world right now. But with the globalization of K-pop, that is going to be a thing that's going to happen. Specifically, people were upset with Suga and the label announcing that his tour video or movie will be aired in places like Israel. So it's going to be aired all around the world, but people are upset that specifically it's going to also air in Israel. And I was so baffled and shocked, I literally could not breathe after I was seeing what people are doing right now now after they're being upset about this. There were literally campaigns going around asking people to not buy the ticket to the show and not go to the movie theater to see it, no matter where it was aired in the world, and they shouldn't be streaming anything related to Suga at all. Now, I can't tell if this is people who just hate Suga and just trying to get people to not stream his stuff and then hiding behind the Israel situation, or if it's people who are actually genuinely so upset that BTS and the members are being associated with Israel that they feel the need to do this because this isn't going to solve anything and in fact this is just going to hurt their career in general. If you are going to do something like this then you definitely did not ever like BTS to begin with because it's not only apparently so easy to lose your support but apparently you're willing to completely destroy one member's career over a false belief that you have. The same thing goes with any other scandal that has ever been related to anybody in K-pop. The situation with Jennie and V has been ongoing and a lot of people still think that they are dating and other people are still upset that the two names were even associated and together to begin with. Recently, it was believed that Jenny was at a baby shop shopping for baby clothes. It was believed that it was like a stalker or that someone was recording Jenny at the store. And it appears as a stalker because it appears like the person who's recording is on an elevator or a staircase and it's peering through like the handle to see Jenny going through clothes at a baby store. Now, a couple of things to note here is that we have no idea if this actually is Jenny or not, because first and foremost, we can't even see her face. So how do we know that this is her? This could literally just be a girl shopping at a store. And then for some reason, someone posted it and said it was Jenny. And then everyone just believes it's her. And then rumors started to circulate where people believed that this is actually V's baby now because V would be the last person that Jenny dated. Others believed that it wouldn't have been super hard for the stalker or whoever recorded the video to go into the store afterwards and ask the staff if Jenny was in fact pregnant and get some answers. However, that didn't happen or at least was never publicly posted or documented. But I find this even more hilarious because this isn't even the first time that Jenny or any of the Blackpink members have been accused of being pregnant. It wasn't long ago when Rosé and Jenny were in LA and they were shopping for baby clothes and paparazzi caught them coming out of the store and accused them both of being pregante. And that was actually probably the biggest rumor. This later turned out to be a gift that they were shopping for when they went ahead and went to meet YSL's creative director, I believe, and his new baby. And that was very interesting to me because that has happened before. So it should be quite clear and obvious that this time, if it's happening again, it could be in fact that she might be meeting someone with a baby and she's just giving them a gift. And can we also talk about the fact that in the video, we see no security? Do you really think that Jenny would be walking alone in a mall without security? But anyway, most K-pop idols that are within this same generation as Blackpink are going to be at the age where people that they know and even their friends and family are going to have babies and are going to get married. They are shopping for babies and they're doing any of that stuff is quite normal. It's just interesting when these quite obvious things aren't even considered and they jump right into, oh, she's pregnant and it's with V's child. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.